Good day all. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss what are great circles, small circles and also rum lines, including what are meridians and their examples and the difference between great circle and rum lines and when to use which one. So let's get started. As we all know that earth is assumed to be spherical in shape. But in reality, Earth is oblate spheroid. An oblate spheroid means a sphere that is wider at its horizontal axis than its vertical axis. Example of the horizontal axis can be equatorial diameter and vertical axis as polar diameter so if we compare equatorial diameter is equal to 12756 kilometers and polar diameter is equal to 12714 kilometers this states the equator is about 42 kilometers larger than the polar diameter this proves that earth is oblate spheroid where horizontal axis is wider than the vertical axis Now let's see what are great circles. Great circles are circle formed on the surface of the earth by the intersection of a plane passing through the center of the earth thereby dividing the earth into two equal parts. The center of the great circle is same as the center of the sphere. The diagram shows what a great circle is. Now let's discuss the great circles on earth surface. In this diagram we see various imaginary lines on earth surface and their names. Now let's see example of great circles one of which is meridian. A meridian is a great circle going through the geographical poles north and south where the axis of rotation polar axis intersects the earth's surface all meridian or longitudinal lines and their complements are great circles the upper branch of a meridian is the half from pole to pole passing through a given point the lower branch is the opposite half. Now let's discuss what prime meridian is. A prime meridian is meridian passing through the Royal Greenwich Observatory in London. Its longitude is defined to be 0 degree. International Date Line It is a line that passes through the mid-Pacific Ocean and roughly follows a 180 degree longitude north-south line on the earth.
Next example of a great circle is equator. An equator is an imaginary line around the middle of a planet. It is halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole at 0 degrees latitude. It is the only great circle whose plane is perpendicular to polar axis. Every point on the equator is at an angular distance of 90 degrees from each pole. Next, let's discuss small circles. Small circles are circles formed on the surface of the earth by the intersection of a plane that does not pass through the center of the earth and does not divide the earth into two equal parts. A common example of a small circle is parallel of latitude. It is defined as an imaginary line around the earth that is parallel to the equator. Now let's see some examples of small circles that is parallel of latitudes. One of which is Tropic of Cancer passing at 23.5 degrees north. Another Tropic of Capricorn passing 23 and half degrees south. Another Arctic Circle passing at 66.5 degrees north and Antarctic Circle passing at 66.5 degrees south. Here north denotes northern hemisphere and south denotes southern hemisphere. Now let's discuss what is a rumb line and the difference between great circle and rumb line. A rumb line also known as a loxodrome is a curve or line on the earth's surface that crosses all meridians at the same angle. It is used as a standard method of plotting a ship's course on a chart. This constant course or line of bearing appears as a straight line on a Mercator projection chart. Now let's see the difference between great circle and rumb line. A great circle is the shortest path between two points along the surface of a sphere. A rumb line is a curve that crosses each meridian at the same angle. Azimuth is the angle a line makes with a meridian measured clockwise from north. Although a great circle is the shortest path, it is difficult to navigate because your bearing or azimuth continuously changes as you proceed. Great circles are mostly the shortest distance between two places when they are far apart. Taking an example, this picture shows the distance between the ports New York and Madrid where when taking a great circle route the distance comes to be 5770 nautical miles whereas when a vessel does a rumb line route it has to travel a distance of 5940 nautical miles thank you for watching this video if you like the video please subscribe press the bell icon for notification of other videos like and share with your friends and do comment.